Hi everybody. I um, just wanted to uh, <clears throat> bring something to light here that uh, I had noticed a while back um, from uh, one of the uh, <laughs> hundreds of YouTube videos that I've watched on Sandy Hook. Um, apparently back in 2010, which is you know, to the best of uh, my research when um, this uh, um, Sandy Hook hoax uh, was in its initial planning stages. Um, there uh, was an outfit, or there is an outfit called AmeriCares that uh, just happened to come to uh, Sandy Hook and renovate uh, uh, a couple homes, one of which uh, belonged to uh, Marie and her son Kevin Parker. And I thought that was. Uh, noteworthy and over here on the right you can see uh, Marie and uh, Kevin Parker and uh, I want to talk a little bit more uh, about those folks uh, in a second here and a little bit more on the uh, family that was the beneficiary of uh, this AmeriCare's renovation uh, the Parker family and this is Marie Parker she's age 78 uh, as you can see, uh, Sandy Hook, Connecticut, and her son, Kevin Parker. But she is also related to a Robert Parker, as you can see here. And uh, I thought that uh, that was worth noting. So let's take a closer look at uh, AmeriCares. And uh, as you can see from their uh, homepage here, uh, they look like a, a very charitable type of an organization. So I figured to take a little bit uh, closer look at them. And uh, so I clicked on our model and uh, take a look here. It says uh, on the ground, AmeriCares works with international and local governmental NGOs. Um, and then I noticed they have a long-standing relationship with the Order of Malta. And for those who are not familiar with the Order of Malta, they are a, um, a well-known Illuminati group. And if you uh, do a little search on Order of Malta and Illuminati, you can see there's many, many results on these people. So they are, again, well-known uh, Illuminati group. So once I uh, found out that they are connected with the Order of Malta, I uh, figured I'd do a little bit more searching and um, see if potentially they are somehow connected with uh, the CIA. And... Well, I come down a little bit on the page here, and you can see AmeriCares in its own way. Uh, and uh, right at the beginning, you can see, uh, beginning in 1982, the Knights of Malta began an intensely collaborative partnership um, with AmeriCares. A little bit later here, you can see that the very founder of AmeriCares, um, is a gentleman by the name of Robert McCauley, uh, a college roommate of George Herbert Walker Bush, Mr. Bohemian Grove, um, Mr. Skull and Bones, um, and this guy McCauley uh, was an agent uh, in the CIA's w World War II era precursor, the OSS. So that... Um, that I thought was very, very interesting. So reading a little bit further, we can find that uh, the partnership of AmeriCares, uh, which of course is uh, connected with the Knights of Malta, frequent, frequently worked with the infamous CIA front company, Southern Air Transport. Um, and uh, they also... Uh, <laughs> Another name here that you might recognize, Zbigniew Brzezinski, the man responsible for pairing the CIA with uh, the future leaders of Al-Qaeda, 
was actually an honorary chairman at AmeriCares. And it looks like AmeriCares, uh, the Knights of uh, Malta, and U.S. intelligence were uh, particularly um, uh, allied, I guess you could say, um, in Central America um, and in Panama um, with uh, George Bush's former ally, Manuel Noriega. Ah, yes, it is a um, tangled web they weave. And uh, they declined to participate uh, with the Red Cross in 1988 with the hurricane relief effort in the left-leaning Nicaragua. And all in all, um, they have been uh, a obviously a front organization working with the CIA um, in a covert fashion, using uh, their um, status as a relief organization um, to infiltrate countries. And here's where it starts to get even more interesting. Um, AmeriCare's headquarters is right down the road from Newtown, Connecticut, in New Canaan, Connecticut. There you can see that's uh, their uh, <coughs> headquarters. Um, and um, they were also involved with uh, the uh, shipping of HIV tainted blood to the Balkans. And this would have been during the Clinton administration um, in the famous uh, or infamous, I should say, um, Clinton blood scandal, Bloodgate, um, where they were taking blood from prisoners in Arkansas uh, uh, prisons and uh, in exchange for uh, uh, drugs, actually, and shipping them really all around the world, uh, Canada, etc. Real nasty people. And um, let's see. And here, who else is involved? It looks like uh, also the Kennedy clan. Um, and here's Bob McCauley, of course, mentioned again, a classmate of uh, George Herbert Walker Bush. Uh, Whitey Bulger came from former Senator Chris Dodd, one of your run-of-the-mill uh, Knights of Malta, but there's more. Here's Bill, OSS Bill Donovan connected, and we go down a little further, of course, Yale University is not far from Newtown, and we can see some of the names here, uh, infamous names. Uh, some of them associated with the Bay of Pigs, James Angleton. Um, you've got George Herbert Walker Bush, of course, James Woolsey, Porter Goss of 9-11 fame, and of course, none other than Bill and Hillary Clinton. So this is um, quite the group. And not only uh, was AmeriCares uh, and the Knights uh, of Malta working as an adjunct to U.S. covert action, but uh, they also were enabling uh, the pharmaceutical complex to dump surplus product as charity, netting a high tax write-off. Um, in one massive uh, AmeriCare's vaccine shipment to the Philippines was completely rejected by local governments as useless. So as, as we can see, uh, these, uh, this, this AmeriCare's is working um, really for uh, the elites and the Illuminati um, in several different ways. And this is where it starts to get real sickening. Uh, in the uh, infamous Franklin cover-up written by Nebraska State Senator John DeCamp, uh, where he uncovered uh, just horrific child abuse, Satanism, murder, um, 
just the most awful things that anybody could ever imagine. Um, people involved with this, um, and, and we're talking right up to George Bush uh, Sr. Um, and so many others at the very top of the government. But um, here you can see the actually was the vice president of americares at the time father bruce ritter was alleged to have molested youth who took refuge with him and uh, you can see that uh, reagan and bush administrations used them for a showcase as a privatization of social services i mean this this covenant house rape center um, and it, it, it was it the um, Village Voice said it was like having Idi Amin on the board of Amnesty International. Just sickening. And a top source of money for the Covenant House has been Robert McCauley, the founder of AmeriCares. And, of course, he's a close friend of the Bush family, as we've already talked about. And... Uh, George Bush's brother Prescott was actually on the AmeriCare's board at the time. So we're looking at some serious sickos here involved with AmeriCare's, um, in the running drugs, running guns, children, you name it. These are some serious bad actors. So to wrap this up, um, this AmeriCare's, um, is obviously a CIA front company and you know, got connections to the Illuminati and this quite frankly is um, what m many of these non-governmental organizations that are funded by foundations like uh, the Rockefeller Foundation, the Ford Foundation, etc. Um, they are essentially uh, intelligence operations uh, that uh, can provide the government with deniability um, when they're out um, orchestrating these events. And it certainly looks like um, they were obviously in Newtown and uh, renovating a Parker family home and another family home um, that did not want to be mentioned. Uh, could have been any number of the uh, Sandy Hook hoaxers. Could have been a bribe of, so, of sorts. Um, and again, this provides the government with deniability, um, <clears throat> but uh, still enables them to get done what uh, the elites wanted to have them get done. So I hope everybody enjoyed this. Um, just another very interesting factoid to add to what we already know. See you soon.